Today I'm going to review this cheap Rhino War towel bag. I'm going to show you the good and the bad. So stick with me because it's a pretty good bag for the money. Okay, let's take a closer look at this Rhino War towel bag. Well, first impressions, it's, it's nicely made. It does look quality. Um, not sure what the material is, it's like a PVC uh, with a lining in it. Um, it's got some, every zipper's got a zipper tab, which is nice. Spin it around a bit. What have we got here? Got plenty of pockets on the side. Have a look at that. You can see the amount of pockets, plenty in there. And there's a zipper there as well for the pouch. Spin it around again. And we have the same again on this side. There's a there's a zipper and there's pockets. The other feature I like of this is what you can do. You can unzip the side. So you just zip them down and that gives you access to the side of the bag. While we're there, let's take out the accessories and the rain cover. We'll look at them in a second. So that's very nice. If you've got the bag mounted on the back of the bike, you can get in from the sides. That's always handy and Yeah, I do like that. Okay, this so that's the same both sides as well. They were also locking as well. So if you notice that, these are locking. So they've got a ring there. So you can actually put one of them. Uh, I've got one here somewhere. One of these style of uh, padlocks with the, uh, the wire on. They should be able to go through there, no problem. You have the same the other side as well, lock in, and you can open. So you can basically open the bag from either side. Okay, let's lift up the flap. Well, actually, on top of the flap, you have a, a stretch cord uh, net, bungee, bungee cord net on the top, which I guess is handy for putting stuff under. You've also got some straps as well. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's have a look inside. Okay, it's it's nicely built. Look at this inside. It's pretty square. It's got, if you look here, it's got like uh, a, a PU board on both sides. So it's it's quite strong. Also in the base there's one as well. Now these can flap down so if you want the base even stronger you can flap that down or just velcro it back up the company that makes these uh, the rhino walk bags have been making bags for about 10 years in china uh, i bought this one from aliexpress because it had a great rating uh, four and a half stars lots of excellent reviews plus all of their stuff has excellent reviews yeah, this is all nice and solid. On the bottom, there's a different material, which looks like it's a little bit more hard wearing. It's like a fake leather. It's also a strap as well. What else we got? Okay, we've got a reflective strip on the back. We've got some D-rings for putting cinch straps through. Stuff like that. The other thing I like about this bag is it's expandable. So right now it's 40 litres. But if you run this zip like this, all the way round, it pops out. Same on this side, and the zip all the way round. So now you've gone from a 40 litre bag. Oh, wrong one, Robert. That's the side flap. There we go. So now you've gone, once you've undo this, there we go. So now you've gone from 40 litre bag like that so that's about 40 litres to 60 like that which uh, can be very handy uh, I'm a big advocate of only pack what you need and then take half of that out so uh, 
but sometimes you just need a bit more space for whatever reason. If you, even if you're going to carry some food or bits and pieces using it for other purposes. They say the bag is weatherproof and it's made of a strong tear resistant polyester. The other feature I like is round here is still wire. It goes all the way round on both sides. So this is very rigid. I mean, you can't, it's tough to bend the ends. So the bag does keep its shape when it's on the bike, which is very nice. I think that it's so far excellent quality. Let's have a look to see what, what comes in the bag. Okay, I'll just pop that aside. So we've got a rain cover. They say the bag is weatherproof, so the rain cover comes in a little pouch. I'm guessing it's the usual elasticated one with, yep, a cin uh, like a, a little strap. So I won't put that on yet, but basically, yep, that's its rain cover and its pouch. We'll be testing that later. I'm going to douse the bag with a hose to try and simulate some rain with the cover and without the cover, just to see what sort of water ingress we get. So this comes with the bag as well. Let's have a look what we've got here. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four straps, tie downs. We've got a cinch strap, I guess that's handy if you want to loop a duffel or something like that over the top of the bag, a couple of cinch straps. These are metal cinches, which is nice. These are all pl plastic, but they look pretty durable. And a shoulder strap, if you want to uh, use it as a s shoulder bag, and maybe when you take it off the bike and take it into your hotel or campsite, whatever. These look pretty good. They look pretty good quality, uh, looking at them. And they're, they're metal. They, uh, got the name on, yeah, they, they look pretty good. Two of them. The other thing I like is these straps, put the others aside, looking at these, ah, oh, they have a lock. So the good thing about these straps is you can, it's very easy to pull through and then you just get this and then lock it down, which is very nice. But that's it, it can't move. And they look pretty sturdy, I must admit. There you go, just like that, and then you just uh, get the clip and lock it down. Good idea. They've also got the Velcro strap keepers. So if you've seen these, when you tie, roll the strap up like that, the loose bit, that just goes like that, and then just Velcros up. And that keeps it all nice and tidy. Okay, back to the bag. Yeah, I mean, look, this isn't Moscow Motor quality, but for the price I paid, what was the price I paid for this? The total cost of the bag, uh, well, the cost of the bag was about uh, 50 pound, so it's about 60 odd dollars, plus the shipping, uh, it came out to oh, about 80 odd dollars total, uh, 80 odd pound total to my door uh, from China. So that's about 100 and 120 US dollars uh, to your door, which is a pretty good price for the bag. It is, it is decent quality, I must admit. And I do like the fact that it's expandable. The bag weighs six pounds or 2.8 kilos, so it's pretty light. Now the other thing I like about this bag is, let me just zip these back up. Find the zip, it's got to be somewhere, there it is, right there. So we zip these back up, and you see another feature which I liked. Some of you most probably won't ever use this feature, I'm going to show you. But for me, when I'm traveling or I'm taking any of my gear and it's not in the bag as such, what you can do is, if I can remember how to do it is you can take this you can lay that flat you can unzip this one as well like 
this. Lay that flat. And somehow you can lay it flat for shipping. Uh, it's kind of, I can't remember how it goes. But when it arrives, it arrives flat. Um, so there is some way you can lay it flat. I can't remember exactly how, something like that. So when you travel, and you just as a spare bag, as you can see, it's about that flat. So as I said, sometimes when I'm traveling with my gear, I, but I've got a gear bag that I leave somewhere if I'm on a tour, then this is handy because I don't take a separate bag, I just pack this in my gear bag. And it lays pretty fat and it, it just weighs a couple of pound. Uh, but it's interesting when, as I say, when you receive the bag, it comes completely flat. Uh, so that's how I knew this actually happened. Will this fit on a sports bike? Uh, well, ideally the bag needs to be mounted on a luggage rack, I think, for the way it mounts. But that's not to say you couldn't get it to squeeze on your, your Jixera with a bit of creativity. Does the bag have any warranty? Yes, it does. It has a one year warranty according to the manufacturer. The clips, what happens if you snap one of these clips? Well, I've seen these uh, complete like this with a clip on, on Amazon, with the 25 mil, mil straps. These are 25 mil straps, and they're dirt cheap. They're just a few dollars. So even if you do bust the clip, uh, it's easy to get new uh, tie down straps. Um, you won't get the strap keepers on the straps, but at least it'll get you out of a pickle. So that just about wraps up my review of the Rhino Walk towel bag. Uh, as I said, it's not a Krieger or Moscow motor quality, but for the price, I think it offers absolutely excellent value. Excellent value. I'll put a link in the description below of where I bought this on AliExpress. Also the link to the stores on Amazon that are selling this bag in the US and the UK. And uh, yeah, next we we'll move on to uh, giving it a soak test and see how it fares with some simulated rain. This is the soak test of the Rhino Walk towel bag. I'm going to simulate what happens in a torrential downpour. Just to see if, uh, try and simulate if you get caught in a downpour and if you've got time to put the rain cover on before everything gets soaked. So, or if you're in a light shower, can it keep the water out? Here we go. Well, that would be a pretty heavy downpour. As you can see, the water's pulled on the top. Let's have a look inside. Well, that's bone dry there. And we got a little bit, it's, all, it's pretty much dry inside, a little bit leaky through the zip, but that's about it. Yeah, that passes.